Hey there, VR Fishing family, Doc Cincy back, and um, I'm going to cover probably the biggest topic in the game, and that is how to catch sharks. And this is going to be the video on how to catch more sharks quickly, and I will also have a video that discusses how to land the sharks if you're having trouble landing sharks. Um, I will put these two videos together to make one video, and I will also have these separately on my YouTube channel. So let's get into how to get more sharks on the line more quickly. And this goes back to um, something I came up with um, a little over a year ago when I called it the fish buffet. And the logic behind this is only having fish on the line that sharks want to eat. They do take fish more frequently than other fish and those fish are going to be the medium saltwater fish so and what you're going to do is you are just going to do everything you can to have those fish on the line as much as possible and not bother reeling them in all the way um, and having to go find new fish so it's called the fish buffet method and i will give you a demonstration here and I will talk about some of the things I'm doing while landing the fish, um, and that may be enough for some players, but I will do a specific video on exactly what to do. And like I said, that'll be merged with this one, and I'll have those as separate videos on the channel. So we'll hit up some of my favorite spots, which is um, US 18 and 20 are my two go-to spots. There are no fishing spots that have more sharks than others. Um, the only map I know of that really seems to have anything weird going on is US-20 used to have a higher frequency of great whites. Um, I don't think that is the case anymore, um, but I normally just go back and forth between um, US-20 and 18 if I'm fishing for tigers, makos, great whites, and blunt nose. Because between those two maps, you get all four of the US maps. The only map you can catch a tiger shark on is US-20. And the rest of the U.S. maps you can catch Makos on. So this is normally my first spot. And what you're going to be looking for is you are going to be looking for the medium fish, which are fish with no fins. And I prefer topwater medium fish, so there are no topwater medium fish here. Um, I've got a topwater large fish here with one fin. And there are no huge fish. Huge fish would have two fins. So I'll refresh this or hop over to 18. And you'll see why I prefer top water. It's because I lure fish and I want to be able to get the fish to react to the lure without having letting it sink or anything like that. And really what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a fish and I'm going to catch it. And after that fish runs two times, if it does not give me a shark, I release that fish because it goes right back to the same place on the fish finder. You can do this on normal mode as well, um, but I find the fish finder a little easier for me to just um, quickly target and cast the fish. So... Didn't see any of the top water fish. I could just refresh that level. I like fishing from a, what I call a fresh level, a level that's loaded. So here I've got some prospects here. So these are the green fish I'm looking for. They're top water because they're bright green. And um, I prefer the spotted sand bass. And so this one's a spotted sand bass out here. I know it's a spotted sand bass because if I move my lure left two times, it'll go from yellow to red. Um, my probably don't have quite the line to get out there, so I'm going to switch my um, rod to the casting rod, so I've got enough line to get out here, and I'm going to catch this fish, and I'm going to reel it in, or be reeling it in, and once it is fought two times, if I do not get a shark on, I just let the fish go, and it goes right back to that same spot. And then so when I do get a shark on, I will, you know, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm doing to land it. But this video is more about this method here on how to get a shark on. So let it go and you just keep re-catching this fish over and over. That way you're not hunting around and you always have a fish on that the sharks have a higher frequency of taking. So this is just the bit about saving time. So you're not reeling in the fish all the way. You're reeling in the fish that have the highest percentage of getting a shark on. So this will definitely increase your sharks per hour, sharks per day, whatever whatever your goal is. It's going to make the best use, to your, use of your time for catching sharks. And then while I'm waiting on a shark, I guess I can talk about um, you know, shark reeling tips and 
It used to be when the sharks jumped, you had to snap them, you know, give your pole a quick jerk. Um, and that was the key to landing them. And that is not the case anymore. That helps. If you miss snaps, it no longer causes you to lose a shark. It used to um, before we had the major mechanics upgrade in 2021. And now the key is to winning the left and right fights when the fish is pooling, like right here, that's a fight. And then the fish is gonna fight again. And after the second fight, that's when I let my bait fish go. So it's winning those fights. And there are two, um, two sounds you'll hear during one of those fights. One is a really hard splash. And I'll try to let you hear that now, so I'll be quiet. Green line. Right there, that hard splash. Let's see if we'll get another one here if the fish doesn't get taken. That hard splash sound there. Now, on this fish, I'm going to lose the fights on purpose, and you're going to hear like a splutter. A sh -sh 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 -sh. try to lose this fight on purpose. That right there, that splutter sound, you do not want to hear that. That means you lost the fight. And that's what causes you to lose the fish. Here we go. So we've got a shark on. So that was really the main key, not hearing that splutter. So you can, I'll try to miss all the snaps on this because I'll do that in my how to land a shark video so that hard splash I won that fight I won that fight now when it jumps I'm gonna try to not snap it on purpose so I'm gonna lose all the snaps on purpose I'm gonna try to at least miss the snap but I'm gonna win all these fights and it's gonna make the fish take longer to come in but you do not need won the fight and missed the snap. When you miss a snap, make sure you really um, reel in quickly. Now the next snap I missed, okay, so now the fish is gonna rage probably the next snap I miss. That's the penalty for not making snaps now, is the fish going into the rage. And when the fish rages, all you want to do is don't reel. See, I've even got a green line and I've missed every snap. Still hasn't raged yet, so no harm. There you go. Now he's raging. So you can move your pole all around when it's raging. Just don't reel. You don't have to do anything special with the pole. Getting that hard splash, making sure that I win those fights. Miss the snapping, and I've missed every snap so far. I haven't even moved my pole. See, the fish is coming in just fine. A little slow. It will take longer to reel in when you miss snaps. And again, I'm going to go into this more in more detail. Miss that snap. Uh, I'm going to go into this in more detail in my landing sharks video. I've still missed every single snap, and this fish is working its way in. I'd have it in by now if I were making my snap. So another missed snap. I'm not even moving the pole. I get another rage because I've missed the snaps again. Just don't touch the reel button. And then I'll do one more demonstration of my fish buffet method. And again, that is just... And you don't have to use the baits or lures I use. Um, instinct kicked in and I made one snap, sorry. But you can see I was missing all those snaps on purpose and the fish was coming in fine. If you lose those left and right fights, you will lose the shark. That is the key. If you miss too many of those, the shark will just, you know, it, at some point it'll just hop up off the line. Your line could be perfectly white, but if you've missed too many of those fights, then it's going to hop up off the line. So what I was getting ready to say and got sidetracked and made that one snap um, 
is you don't have to use the bait or lure. You could float fish in. I used to float fish with the grasshopper, um, and lure fishing is just a little faster. You, you can get to the fish faster. They react faster. So let's see here. So you could, so, you know, I've got what I call bait fish, this one, this one, and this one. And again, I go left two times. So none of, none of these are the spotted sand bass. These are actually all three the same type of fish, but you could, you could float fish these fish, switch over. So the, the worm has them yellow, the krill or has them green. The krill has them green. So I just prefer to lure fish and I'm going to switch back to my spinning rod because I don't need to cast that far out and just going to do the same thing. I'm going to catch this fish over and over until a shark takes it. And then, um, that'll be the last shark I catch for how to do the fish buffet method. When you go to South Korea and Japan, um, you're going to want to play around with different baits and lures to, you know, find what works on those levels to get that green topwater fish. And it doesn't have to be a topwater fish. That has nothing to do with it. Um, all the medium fish have the same um, percentage chance of being taken by a shark. The large fish with one fin, that percentage is a little lower. And the huge fish with two fins, a shark will never take one of those. Never, ever. Might have cast a little too short on that one. Well, nope, still got out there. So again, the key to landing the sharks, and I'll do a separate video completely on this where I'll probably purposely lose some sharks in the process, is um, winning those left and right fights. If you hear that splutter sound um, that I let you hear earlier, that means you've lost that fight. And if that happens about four or five times on a shark, the shark will again. It'll just jump up and leave. And again, if you continue watching this video, this video will um, have a more detailed video afterwards about reeling. Or you can just go to the separate video. So as general fishing goes, you know, some people might find this a little boring, but if sharks are your thing, this is definitely the, the quickest way to, to get them in or get them on the line because you're not reeling in the fish all the way and then finding new fish and just the time it takes to land the fish in between the sharks. I did a video the other day, um, where I caught 22 sharks in one sitting, one on each of all the salt water levels. Um, took me just over two hours, which is pretty good for 22 sharks. shark so now this one i will um win all the fights and attempt to make all my snaps I usually make most of them but again this video was more about this method of getting the sharks on the line with you know somewhat higher frequency not somewhat it's definitely 
definitely faster. You will hook more sharks this way than just regular fishing alone. But you're not going to be doing much in between. So, if you give or take, if, you, if you're shark crazy, this is what you want to do. So you'll see how, how much faster this shark comes in than that last shark because I'm also winning the snaps. You don't have to win those snaps when the shark jumps. But you do have to win the left and right fights. Also, see when you're doing both, you get uh, more frequent green lines, which helps the shark come in faster. And this tiger is going to be up pretty tiny when I'm going to go 121 on his size. Or her size. Or their size. Right. 124, a little bigger than I thought. So, there you go. That is um, my method on the fish buffet that I came up with about a year and a half ago, maybe. Um, and I won't get into details. That's... It didn't start off as it is now, so it kind of evolved, and this is the very best way of catching sharks, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and as always, happy hunting! Hey there, VR Fishing family. Welcome back. If you are continuing this video from the Fish Buffet demonstration video, this video is going to be about how to land the huge fish, including sharks. Um, the tips I'm going to initially give apply to sharks and all huge fish, but I'm gonna start with just hooking some huge fish on purpose, because I can't guarantee having a shark on, and then I'm going to catch a shark and you know show you those things in action. So the, the one thing I always urge people to do who are really struggling, um, once you get to the point where you're catching sharks, most people have moved beyond normal mode where you have the fishing guide up and they're on harder expert and the sharks, you know, they are more difficult, but they're no, they're really no different than the huge fish, you know, a sailfish, a marlin, a mahi, a tuna. If you can land those, you can land the sharks, but you've you've taken the training wheels off and you might not um, realize you're losing some of the fights and when i talk about fights that's when the fish swims left or swims right and you're supposed to hold against it and um if you if you don't win those fights that's what causes you to lose the fish people think that it's missing the snaps you know snapping you know jerking the rod when the fish jumps that used to be the case if you missed a certain amount of snaps you would lose your shark that's not the case anymore um, in my last video I landed a shark with missing all my snaps on purpose and I'm going to do the the same thing in this video here after demonstrating the importance of winning these left and right fights and there you're gonna hear me talk about a splash and splutter when you're doing these fights, if you win it, you will hear a very hard, solid splash sound. If you do not win, you will hear a very soft splutter. And if you hear that splutter sound, that means you lost that fight. And if you lose too many, it doesn't matter what your line tension color is. It could be white, it could be blue, it could be red, but it doesn't matter. The fish will eventually just jump off. You can have a perfectly white line, and if you've lost too many of those fights, you are going to lose that fish. So I'm going to fish on normal mode because normal mode gives you a visual representation of whether or not you've won or lost those fights because when the fish is fighting, it shows you a meter that you're filling up when you hold against that fish. And if you don't fill up that meter, you're going to hear those splutter sounds. When I fill the meter up, you're going to hear the splash sounds. So those are the key, winning those fights. So let's go hook and possibly on purpose lose some huge fish. And then we'll catch a shark. All right. So the other thing I recommend is um, catch some catch some sharks on normal mode. You know, there there's there's no shame in it. Catch some sharks on normal mode. So I've got some huge got a huge fish out there. So I'm going to catch this fish and. 
you know, talk about that fishing meter when it's doing the fights and let you hear the splash or splutter. I'm going to try not to talk. So when, when I, around this, the time that you're going to hear the splash or splutter. So we'll start off with winning a fight, filling that meter and that hard splash sound here. So that's your line tension. You know, as it goes towards red, that's more tense towards blue, less tense. And you're going to see a meter pop up. There's the meter. Listen for the hard splash. That hard splash there, that's what you want to hear. Now I'm not going to fill the meter. That soft splutter, that's the sound you don't want to hear. Fill the meter. Hard splash. That was a snap. I didn't make the snap. I missed the snap on purpose. I'm, I don't need to make the snaps. I'm going to lose the lose this fight. Listen for the splutter. Well, fish went into a rage. That is what you get for not winning those fights. Because I didn't fill the meter. That's why the fish fought. So I'm going to go ahead and splutter here. That splutter, that's what you don't want to hear. That's what causes that rage. Splutter here. It jumped, so you're not going to hear the splutter. I'll try to have it splutter if it doesn't rage on this next fight. So, did you hear the splutter right before the rage? So, it's not winning those fights. If you win all the fights, and so I'll win this fight. Make my snap. If you win all of the fights, your fish is never going to rage. You can miss every snap. As long as you win the fights, it's not going to rage. So my recommendation, I'm going to lose this fight. There's the splutter. You don't want to hear that. It's the sound that I really want you to get used to hearing. There was the hard splash right before the fish jump because I won the fight. I'm going to win this fight so you can hear that hard splash again. There's the hard splash. Going to go for a splutter on here. Went into a rage, so you couldn't hear the splutter, but you see how much this fish is raging, and it's raging because I'm not winning those fights. Give you a good splutter here on the next fight. There it is. That's, that's the splutter. So I'll go ahead and just finish bringing this, this fish in here, but I recommend catch five or six sharks using this meter. You can see there's a visual representation of that, the meter you know, the direction you're supposed to be holding, and you can see that meter fill up. Catch some sharks on normal mode. If you use this meter to catch, let's say, five sharks, I bet you can jump back to normal mode or expert without this meter, and you're going to get your sharks in fine. So next step is I will catch, um, catch a shark using the meter so you can see it. And I'm going to do everything right on the sharks. So you'll, you know, I'll talk about it. You'll see the meter. And then I will catch a shark without using the meter. So let's see. There we go. Got a fish out there. Um, can't tell. It's hard to tell on this mode, the medium fish. I don't know if there's a distinguishing factor so i'm going to use my fish buffet video which is a separate no, my sorry my fish buffet method here sorry can't tell if he is on top or not yeah so and that is repeatedly catching a medium fish over and over and letting it go until a shark takes it so if it fights twice I let it off the line. It's hard for me to tell the fish sizes, so I don't know if this is a medium or a large fish, but um, I think this is a California Corbina, maybe. But if it, if I don't, two fights and I don't get, it's a California Corbina, so it's a large fish. I prefer a medium fish. Um, let's see here. Let me switch back to my regular. We'll refresh the level. Try to find a medium fish here. Oh, help if I was on. I put the glasses on. I don't fish on normal that much. No medium fish. Looking for a top water medium fish. Um, 
So you don't have the medium fish designation, so I'm gonna we'll go get this one. I'm just going to repeat catch and release this fish until a shark takes it. That is my fish buffet method, but that's a separate video if you want to check that out. Or if you're continuing from the fish buffet video. You've already seen it. So again, you can see me filling up the meter on the two fights. Again, that's a California Corbina. Not the traditional shark bait fish I would use. Might be a little slower to get a shark on using that as bait rather than a medium fish. But with the goggles on, it's harder to tell the fish size than with the fish finder. The fish finder, it's super easy. We got the shark on, and again, I'm gonna do everything right, but talking, but I want you to pay attention to the meter and listen to those splashes, those hard splashes. That's what you want to hear. So I'm holding the opposite direction the fish is going. And sometimes, you know, it helps to really hold way far away. A lot of people, that's the issue. They don't realize that they're not pulling left or right hard enough when the fish is pulling straight back it's you know it's easy but when the fish is moving left and right most people aren't holding hard enough the other direction i mean really go the other direction and listen for this hard splash and you see i i reel my line almost to the point of breaking i don't recommend doing that while the fish is fighting but it's just i've got the timing down um, and i got the timing down by doing this, fishing on normal mode. So I, I got used to seeing that meter, and as long as you don't reach the end of that meter, you're fine. And again, making the snaps when the shark jumps is not a necessity anymore. It used to be. So when you hear people talk about it, they are remembering a time when you had to make those snaps or you would lose your sharks. It's not the case anymore. So again, catch five sharks on this mode and then go back to um, your other modes where you don't have this and harden expert. And I think you'll find that, you know, once you've caught some sharks using this meter, it makes life a whole lot easier because it just becomes muscle memory. I mean, it's an algorithm. The fish follow an algorithm. And, you know, they're, like I said, they're no more difficult than the, you know, the tuna, the mahi, those other big fish. Same programming, they follow the same patterns. So, there we go. And I'm going to hop over back to 20 and use the fish finder, which is my traditional fish buffet method. So if you're just watching this video and you're not familiar with my fish buffet method, um, it is using the fish finder to target bait fish, which are what I call bait fish are the medium fish on the fish finder. No fins, and I prefer them to be on the top water. Top water doesn't matter. You don't catch more sharks on top than bottom. And I prefer the spotted sand bass if it's there. And to tell that with the um, soft bait on, if you move to the spinner and the spinner to the spoon, it'll change from green to yellow to red. Um, I just prefer that and then I'm going to target, you know, any of these fish will work, but I just for some reason superstition like the sand bass. If a shark doesn't take a fish after that second left right directional fight or the back fight, they will not take it. So after the, the fish fights twice, you know, I just let it off the line and then when you let a fish off the line, it goes right back to where it was. So when it goes right back to where it was, you can just catch the fish over and over and you're spending less time one you're not catching large fish huge will take uh you know, sharks will take large fish um, those are the fish on the fish finder with one fin sharks will not take huge fish so mahi tuna uh, marlin you know any of the huge fish sharks will not take so if you have one of those on the line you're wasting your time and they take a long time to reel in and by not reeling in your bait fish it goes right back to the same spot and you're not you know constantly having to find other bait fish 
you know, it's kind of a boring way to fish. You know, if you like just fishing and you're happy with the amount of sharks you get. Um, so here's my shark. If you're happy with the sharks you get, then, you know, just fish like regular. But if sharks are your thing, this will speed up um, how many sharks you get in a given session. So again, I'm going to do, so here's the hard splash. Make sure you win that fight. And keep your rod tip up. That makes it easier to win the fights. There's no, the only reason for keeping your rod tip up, it just seems like you don't have to pull as far in the directions to win the fights. So keeping your rod tip up will help. It doesn't do anything for line tension or making the fish more tired or anything. It's just, it makes it so you don't have to move as far when you're making those fights. So I did miss that snap. Um, if you go to, if you watch my um, fish buffet video, if you're not watching it from the beginning, I do um, purposely catch a shark with missing all the snaps. Um, I guess I can do that. I'll catch one more shark. So this was the right way to do it. And I'll do a demonstration next. I'll catch one more shark and I will on purpose miss all of the snaps. And um, do another demonstration of that you do not need to make the snaps to land the shark. I did it in the fish buffet video, and on the off chance you're watching this as a standalone video, I do want to do a video showing that you do not need to make those snaps when the fish jumps, and you'll be just fine. But if you lose enough of those left-right fights, the fish will eventually just hop right off the line. So let's head back to US-18. These are just my two favorite maps to shark fish on. And this next shark, I am going to um, purposely try to miss all the snaps. Sometimes instinct just kicks in. So here we go. I've got no medium topwater fish. I could go float fish down to middle and catch this one. But um, usually on a refresh or two, you get a topwater. Um, got a topwater fish out there. He's pretty far out. Um, see if I can get him without throwing the casting line on. Yep, he's just in range. So this one, I will try to do everything I can to miss all the snaps. I'll miss most of them um, on purpose. And you will see I will still land the, the shark. I do have a video out there, my Stop Losing Sharks video. Um, I catch a really, really big, great white without making any snaps. Yeah, he's moved out of range now. Let me throw on... Actually, I'll just refresh and try and get one closer. There we go. Where I catch a really, really big, great white um, with missing all the snaps. So maybe I'll get a really big one here. It really doesn't matter the size. The size of the fish just gives it more life value. Um, fish are assigned a life value of, you know, hit points per se. Um, and the more they have, the harder the fish fights a little bit. Um, there we go, a quick one. And the longer it takes to reel in. So now I'm going to try to miss all of my snaps. But I am going to win all those left and right fights. And missing the snaps will not cause the fish to rage. It's losing those fights that does. So this fish isn't going to rage because I'm going to win all the fights. You know, miss the snap. I did not move at all. You'd hear the ch sound if I would won the snap. It makes a little whip sound almost. I think that's why people call it snapping. So, miss the snap. I'm just going to make sure I win all the fights. Oh, I did get a rage out of them. Usually, usually it's the missing the losing the fights that causes the rage. I did make that snap instinct kick in a little bit. I'm going to try to be diligent on losing the rest of the snaps. And the position I keep my rod in also makes it a little easier to snap. 
And if I move it at all when the fish jumps, there we go. Miss that snap. And you're listening for that hard splash sound. You don't want that. That means you have lost the fight. And when you miss the snap, the shark will move away a little bit. You know, that's another thing that causes it to increase the time. It will move just ever so slightly away. But I've missed all but one snap so far. Missed that snap. Fish is coming in just fine, and it's raging now. So maybe the fish will rage now when you when you miss the snaps. So maybe that is a consequence. But if the oh the the fish will rage. I'm sorry, I misspoke. It will it will rage when you miss the snap. Sorry, I was saying the wrong thing. It will rage, but when it rages, all you have to do is not reel. You can wave your pole around in circles. If you watch the my fish buffet video, you'll see me do it. If I I don't know if I'll get another rage out of this one. He's almost in. But you can wave your your fishing pole all around. Just don't touch the reel when it rages. Another miss snap. There we go. Here's a rage. See, do anything you want with the pole. Just don't touch the reel button. <laughs> Glad I got that last rage in. Might have one last jump. He's getting pretty close. Though. So I made that snap. I don't know if you could hear that little crack sound, but I've missed enough snaps that you can see that missing the snaps is not going to cause you to lose the shark. What's going to cause you to lose the shark is not winning those left-right fights. So you can make every single snap, every single snap, but if you lose those fights, I guarantee the shark is going to jump off. 100% guarantee. You can make every snap lose all the left and right fights and that shark will not stay on the line so there you go well decent size too so that was pretty big as far as a blunt nose goes so um i made two snaps you know just by instinct and i think i missed the other four or five and the shark came in just fine now it took a long time that shark would have normally taken me about two minutes 45 seconds to come in and it took a lot longer so there you go. Those are my tips on how to land the sharks and, you know, a tip on, you know, go catch, you know, five or more sharks on, um, you know, the, the mode, what is it? Normal mode, normal, it's trouble coming up with the word normal. So catch five sharks or so on normal where you can see that meter filling up. And, you know, once that kind of becomes muscle memory, you are going to land them on harder expert with zero problem. So thanks for tuning in, and as always, happy hunting.